Cindy and welcome to a new video. In today's video I am going to show you guys my makeup collection and storage that is right here behind me. Beautiful makeup storage. A few weeks back I redid my uh, makeup storage because I had too much makeup and not enough space. So I bought myself some new drawers and I bought a new desk and I bought a lot of new things. So I really want to show you guys what I made and where I store my makeup in. I don't have a whole lot of makeup. I mean, I do have a decent amount, but it's really not that much. Uh, I got a lot of makeup from NYX when I participated in the NYX Face Awards. So you're gonna see a lot of NYX products. So I got those products for free, but everything else that I have, I bought with my own money. Because I don't get sent PR packages because nobody knows who I am. And I'm pretty sure that if they knew who I was, they wouldn't send me stuff anyways. So, so yeah, if you're interested in my makeup collection and my makeup storage, then please keep on watching. So this is kind of my vanity overview. As you can see, I have two of the IKEA Alex drawers because everyone has those drawers. So I thought I'm just gonna buy them as well. And those drawers contain all of my makeup. And on top of my vanity, I have my makeup brushes and I store those in a plant box. I don't know if you can like that, but it's actually meant for plants. And I bought it at Flying Tiger. So next to my brushes, I have this little basket where I put my makeup sponges in. And I also have this grid thingy and I'm just planning on putting some inspirational pictures on there. Just to get myself a little bit inspired when I'm doing my own makeup. And next to that, I have my lovely, lovely mirror. And I got that one from Sustrain Grana, which is a Scandinavian um, store, I think. And underneath my mirror, I just store my scissors and my tweezers and everything like that. And the plants on my vanity normally aren't there. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I only put them there for this video. So, yeah. So, let's open the first drawer. This is my lipstick drawer, as you can see. Here are all my lipsticks. I've got a bunch of MAC lipsticks right here. My favorite MAC lipstick is Stone, which is this one. It is a gorgeous color. I also really like my Kat Von D lipstick in the color Piaf. And other than that, I have a bunch of NYX lipsticks. I have some Chanel and YSL lipsticks. And some uh, Freedom lipsticks. But I absolutely don't like these. So I think I'm just going to throw them away. Uh, I also have a bunch of lip pencils. Here I got my neutral shades and here I got my darker shades. And in this drawer I just have some miscellaneous stuff. I've got some lipstick primers, this white lipstick mixer. And in the back part I've got all my lip palettes. And these are all from NYX. And then on to the next drawer and also my favorite one because this is where I store all my liquid lipsticks and I totally love liquid lipsticks. I prefer them over my normal lipsticks because I just like that they stay on my face the entire day. My favorite liquid lipstick formula is the one from Jeffree Star. So I have a bunch of him but I really want to get more because I also really like his colors. Uh, my favorite color of all time is probably Crocodile Tears. I also really like the Kat Von D Everlasting lipsticks. But unfortunately it's really hard for me to get my hands on one of these. Because we don't have a Sephora here in the Netherlands. And I could buy it online but the shipping costs are just very high. So it's not really worth it. I don't have the money for that. But I really love them and I totally want to get more of these. And I also have a bunch of the uh, NYX liquid suede lipsticks and the NYX Cosmic Metals lipsticks and just here some random stuff some colored rain LA Splash um, MUA got some NYX butter glosses and I've got the entire collection of the NYX Epic Ink lipsticks which I also don't really like unfortunately and then in the back 
if you can't really see, I've got some LA Girl liquid lipsticks. On to the third one. This is my cheeks drawer. So I storage here all my um, highlighters, all my blushes, uh, some more highlighters, more blushes, some bronzers, which I never ever use, but I own them. I don't know why, because I don't use them. Got a contour powder from NYX. This is the one that I al always use. This is the NYX blush in taupe. Uh, in the back, I got some blush palettes. So I have the Makeup Revolution blush palette and an e.l.f. palette and here I got some highlighter palettes and I also got some um, liquid illuminators and here I have all my cream contour products and my favorite items out of all these items are definitely my NYX duochromatic highlighters. I absolutely love these highlighters. I'm not really a highlighter freak. I know that a lot of people are obsessed with highlighter. I personally am not that obsessed with it, but I am obsessed with these duochromatic highlighters. I think they're so gorgeous. So in the fourth one, I keep all my eye makeup that isn't an eyeshadow. So I got a bunch of glitters over here. I recently got this NYX glitter in the color violet. And honestly, this one is so gorgeous. I don't really like holographic glitters to be honest, but this one is a purple holographic glitter and it is gorgeous and I really want to use it. Um, I have a bunch of glitters from um, Makeup Studio. I really like these. Some pigments also from NYX. And one from Makeup Geek Cosmetics. This one is gorgeous. It's Utopia. And I got some lit lacquers and some glitter primers. In the back I've got some glitter liners, which I don't really like. A bunch of gel liners. I used to use gel liners every single day, but I don't really use them anymore. I just really prefer my uh, stick eyeliners, my felt tip eyeliners. Here I got a bunch of eyeshadow sticks. Um, I have a lot from Gosh. I absolutely love the Gosh uh, eyeshadow sticks, but unfortunately they don't sell Gosh in the Netherlands anymore. But these ones are amazing. And got some eyeliners. My favorite eyeliner of all time, the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. And I also got a bunch of liquid colored eyeliners. So these are the NYX Vivid Brights. And I also have a few by Gosh. In the back I got a bunch of eye pencils that I also never use. I don't know why, I just don't use them. Like I got some brow products. And I got some eyeshadow primers. And a bunch of mascaras. And I absolutely hate all these mascaras that are in here. So if you have any good recommendations for mascaras... Please leave them in the comment section down below because I normally just go for the one that is cheapest. But the one that is cheapest is most of the time also not the best. So here are all my foundations and concealers and contour palettes and everything like that. I own a lot of foundations um, and they are all too dark for me. I only have two foundations that match my um, shade. For the Marc Jacobs Remarkable Foundation in the shade Ivory Light. And the NYX Total Control Drop Foundation in the shade Pale. Um, these are the other foundations that match my skin tone. But these are also the foundations that look terrible on me. Because I have a very dry skin and these are definitely not made for dry skin. So what I always do with my foundation is I mix them. I most of the times mix them with my Manic Pen and Cream Tone Foundation and sometimes I mix them with my LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. Then I got some contour palettes that I like and some concealer palettes. Got a bunch of concealers that are basically also too dark for me. So I also have a white concealer just to mix it in with my normal concealer. Got a bunch of primers but most of the time I just use my Nivea aftershave balm. Setting powders. I only have two of those because I really don't see the point in having 5000 setting powders. And some setting sprays. This one uh, I'm just gonna go through very quickly because it's just a bunch of trash. <laughs> I got some makeup bags and some 
individual eyeshadows that I still need to uh, put in a Z palette. So yeah, this is not interesting. I'm going to close this one. Bye! So onto my first eyeshadow palette drawer. These are all my large eyeshadow palettes. I don't have a lot of them as you can see. I have two Morphe palettes which I really like. Um, then I just have my custom made Z palette and these are mainly uh, Makeup Geek eyeshadows. I also have this Urban Decay Vice Reloaded palette and I actually never use this palette but I definitely should use it because it has a lot of pretty colors. I also have my Violet Voss X Laura Lee palette. And here is my smaller eyeshadow palette drawer. And this is the drawer that I gravitate the most to because it just has a lot of eyeshadow. And I really like all these eyeshadows. My favorite palette is probably the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette. I also have the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette. I also have three of the um, Urban Decay Naked Eyeshadow palettes. And I used to be obsessed with these palettes. But I found out that the quality of these eyeshadows actually isn't that good. But these were like the first eyeshadow palettes that I ever tried. So back then it was amazing. But right now it really isn't amazing anymore. I have the ugliest palette of this entire world. And that is the Jeffree Star Androgyny palette. <laughs> I like the colors that are in there, of course. I mean, I think this is gorgeous. But oh, it's so bright and pink. And I really don't like pink. But I do really love the quality of the eyeshadows and the color of the eyeshadows. So I've got a bunch of the um, NYX Perfect Filter eyeshadow palettes. I just got some Sleek palettes and some Makeup Academy palettes, but I almost never use those. So I think I'm just gonna give those away because I need space in my drawer. Um, and I also have these NYX Ultimate eyeshadow palettes. Really like these as well. They're amazing. So then we're almost done with the IKEA Alex drawers. This is my um, SFX drawer. So I have some face paints over there, some liquid latex and fake blood. Here are just some makeup sponges and a knife that I like to stab annoying people with. And just some uh, fake lenses and some lens liquid. Nothing very special. to the very very last drawer this is um, some miscellaneous stuff I just have some cotton balls and some q-tips over here here are all the products that I already have so some backup products here are some uh, extremely large fake lashes that I'm not sure when I'm going to use it but they looked cool so I wanted to have them and my normal lashes I store in these little things um, I think these were actually made for uh, storing your beads and stuff or when you make necklaces and bracelets and stuff like that. But I just keep my lashes in there and I've labeled everything. And I really like storing my lashes like this because it just takes up a lot less space than just keeping all the uh, individual boxes. So yeah, I like it. And the last thing that I'm going to show you are these boxes right here. I got these from Ikea and I just store some random stuff in there. So in this one I store all my wigs and hair stuff. Here I just have some random costume thingies, like my Halloween costumes. And here I got all my nail supplies. And then I just have this little train case from NYX. So this basically is my entire makeup collection and my makeup storage. I hope you guys liked this video, if you did please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Snapchat and Twitter. And I want to thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye!
Et il y a peut-être du... 